Hey everyone, it's me Suchita. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely fine. Uh, I made a video on IB teacher training, I think a year back or uh, one and a half year back. And from that time, I was always getting the questions regarding the IB. I think the whole concept of IB and how to apply for different workshops and which workshop is suitable for you as a teacher and all these doubts I'm going to cover. I thought let's make a series of videos and we'll try to clear all your doubts. So without any delay, let's start today's. This is the first part of the video. In this part, I will explain what basically is IB and why you supposed to do it. So without any delay, let's start the video first. Okay, so the first question is what is IB and what is IB teacher training? So IB is like a normal curriculum. Our children are going to the CBSE curriculum schools, IGCSE curriculum and many other local curriculum which are throughout our India, right? Now this IB is like, you know, more towards more popular outside India. But now in the metropolitan cities in India also have many schools, especially like, you know, from where I belong, Delhi has many schools which are IB schools. Also, if you go to any big metropolitan city, you will get the IB schools. Now, the thing is like, you know, the private teachers who are trying to grow and are, they are looking forward for good salary package IB schools have good salary package as compared to our CBSC, IGCC and other local curriculum why what is the reason because the fees uh, structure of IB is high and obviously they are paying well to the teachers also so that what is uh, like you know basically the funda why we have to do the IB teacher training so now you understood now to teach to such schools we need to do a training we need to get a certificate as a IB certified teacher and for that we need to do a training and that is IB teacher training I hope the whole funda of IB and the teacher training is clear now Second question is which training we should do because when you will open the website you will see many levels of IB workshops. So let's see it like that. For example, you go to any school you will see that we have a primary section then middle school then high school. Similarly in IB we have PYP, MYP and then the DP diploma program. So PYP is for the primary section I think for grade 1 to 5 and then MYP that is for grade 6 to 10 and then DP diploma program for 11 and 12 high school. Now this is these are the three levels of IB the classes are divided like this. Now in this if you are a teacher like for example me I'm a new teacher for IB so I need to go to uh, uh, training for category one now for each for example i'm a primary teacher so i need to choose pyp okay now for pyp i have category one category two category three and there is one introductory like you know the uh, introduction level so if you don't know anything about ID, ib you can start with the introduction level then you can do maybe you start teaching and then you have spent two three months and then you go to category one maybe after a year you go to category two and after two three years you can go to category three it's like we are learning and we are going for the stages so in ib schools if you have done an introduction level you get a different pay scale if you are at category one definitely you are an experienced teacher so you will get good uh, like you know better salary package and then get a grade two and three respectfully i hope the framework is clear to you now so that's how we need to choose the workshop first you uh, check out if you are a pyp myp or dp out of these three you need to choose one and then you go to the category one category two category three or the introduction level so that's how we will choose our workshop Third question is, which I think most of you are asking, like, you know, if I will do a IB teacher training, will my chances to get selected uh, as a teacher outside will increase or is it guarantee my selection for a uh, teacher outside India? See, like, you know, no, no education or certificate will guarantee any kind of job. It's totally will be an advantage or I can say it will add the weightage to your CV, but no curriculum uh, certification or anything will guarantee you any job obviously there are more IB schools outside India and if you will do a training uh, which is like you know you will be an IB certified teacher you will get preference over other teachers who were teaching CBSC and other curriculums so uh, definitely you will get the preference but that definitely will not guarantee any kind of job 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज आई एम अ सी बी एस ई टीचर कैन आई डू आई बी टीचर ट्रेनिंग ऑफ कोर्स यू कैन डू सी यू आर टीचिंग सी बी एस ई बट यू आर लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू अप्लाई टू आई बी स्कूल राइट सो डेफिनेटली यू कैन डू दिस कोर्स एंड यू कैन डू दिस वर्कशॉप एंड देन यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर फर्स्ट यू विल गेट द इंट्रोडक्शन लेवल वर्कशॉप एंड देन यू कैन अप्लाई टू फर्दर टू द आई बी स्कूल इट्स टोटली फाइन विद दैट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज आई एम अ ट्यूटर आई डोंट आई एम नॉट टीचिंग इन एनी स्कूल कैन आई स्टिल डू द आई बी टीचर ट्रेनिंग येस यू कैन डू देर इज अ कॉलम वेयर दे आर आस्किंग द स्कूल डिटेल्स वेयर आर यू टीचिंग सो यू कैन फिल एनी नोन स्कूल और यू कैन बिकॉज इट्स मैंडेटरी लाइक यू नो यू कैन कीप इट ब्लैंक सो यू कैन फिल द डिटेल्स ऑफ योर इंस्टीट्यूशन और यू कैन टेक लाइक यू नो एनी स्कूल डिटेल्स हु आर फाइन टू शेयर द डिटेल्स विद यू एंड यू कैन फिल आउट दोज डिटेल्स इट्स टोटली फाइन इज जस्ट like you know to get the information where exactly you are teaching so it's not nothing like if you are a tutor or you are teaching in cbsc or igcs or any other curriculum school is totally fine still you can do these workshops so that's all for today's video i hope i am able to give the introduction i am able to solve all your doubts and if you still have doubt please post the question in the comment box and i'll try to answer as much possible that's all for today have a nice day bye bye